right, you guys, welcome back. We're at the school, and let's let the vlog resume. This will be episode six. I hope you're ready. I got some cool things to feature on the channel, this one in particular, and my favorite setup with the Wall 1919. I was pretty unimpressed with it at first, but as I experimented more with it and changed the blade and did some different things, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So, Yo, I'm so excited to bring you guys this new fave video. Like, like for real, this be one of my best videos. Do you love doing perms? Cause I love doing perms. No, I don't love doing perms. <laughs> oh, so these rods, would you think these rods would be good for the Mohawk? Manny, where's yours at? What we doing? Where's the mannequins at? Where's the relaxers at? Let's go. All of you guys, cholesterol and gel. We gotta learn how to do this. This is a very simple thing, easy way to get this thing done. Relaxer. Prepare for the. We've done it. Shit. Yeah, you wanna see this? What we got? I got a new kit. Oh. What's in the kit? Vegan muscle. You see that muscle right there? Yeah, you see that muscle? Can barely open it. <laughs> this is all my my goods. Yeah, this is solid. This is like a gun case. You are not going to let any of this stuff. Look at that. The Oster Volts, the fan speeds. This is a case that's after my own heart. The only thing missing is the Braun Series 9. But Braun Series 9. She's got a finale, so, you know, we're good. It's a good setup. It's a real good setup. What we got in this case? Let's see how this case looks. All right, so not much going on in this case. Cosmo case. What we got in this case? Come with some perm rods, I see. That's what it looks like from here. Just safe keeping. Hey. <laughs> All right, so he's got the speed lines. That's pretty dope. And he's got the finale. It's good. Uh, got a jumbled mess of uh, Swimline Pro seniors and uh, outliners. Two outliners. It's a pretty good case. It's solid, you know. Black Ops, this is cute. I got one too. I care about performance. I don't care about aesthetics. Now, Joe, he's all about performance. Look at these muscles, they barely fit. Look at that. That's aesthetics of that. Wait, why is it so soft? Why is it soft? That's not soft. Squeeze it all you got. All you got. Jesus, this thing is soft. What's going on? <laughs> I'm in both right now. Uh, Ma, where's the meatloaf? <laughs> Ma. Ma. Yo, how nice of you to come back from break. My most productive student. About 45 minutes late. Nice ready to sit. He's ready to slip, sit down, pick himself a nice perch out, pull the phone out. Glass. You oh, the no, no, I'm saying there's other people that be sleeping in the cars all day. Other people be hiding upstairs and... Someone just went first 48. <laughs> first 48, right here. So don't look at me. So we're we're doing the relaxer, right? And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna split this hair into four. We're gonna start in the back sections, right? But before we do really any of that, what do we have to do first? Why don't we do the very ends? Because they're very porous and they will become overcooked very easily. How much relaxing can you really do I'm doing, in one I'm day? Doing the How much relaxing can you do in one day? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, are you doing bass or non bass relaxing? Uh, sure. bass. What, what do I do next now? I don't All right, really All right everybody, <laughs> let's give this let's give this relaxer a go. Go and get yourself some gel, get yourself some cholesterol, and set up shop near a, near a mannequin, and let's make it happen. Relaxers have you done in the barbershop? None. Exactly. Oh, I can't wait to offer this. Yo, last week was really slow at the barbershop. I only did like two relaxers. <laughs> Do you know how many relaxers you did last week in the barbershop? Three. Three. 
so I was pretty slow week two. Yeah. More firms, more right? Yeah. What kind of um, ergonomics is, is this? Are you planning on bringing this chair to the shop with you? <laughs> I'm going to keep the chair around. Now, remember, the base frame, it's got to be a quarter inch, dude. You can't be quarter inch what? Base All right, so, like, in, in the event this is a real, you're not going to be able to cover any of this. So, uh, you know, it looks like you're practicing for the tall pines. Well, when I get here, I just don't want to go back and forth. Because like, you know, if I were you, I'd probably... the shoulder workout. I'd probably put it down a little bit, like I wouldn't want to be working above my head. Put this stand. It's not oh good, man. God. Why is it not good? Really? Chick is doing a fine job for me. Ah. They're all janky. Yeah, man. There's nothing janky about this thing. They're this thing will not knock right. over in a hurricane. Yeah. What about this? Nothing going with this one. No, we're good. He says we're good over here. I noticed that you're uh, relaxing and the job is not done. Yeah, I'm letting the other stuff soak in. You don't let that soak in. It doesn't have any fossil in it. It's a mental game for the client. It's a mental game. <laughs> These guys are saying that I'm, I'm going to get sponsored by Con Air or Babylus. You guys know how much I hate Babylus, right? But if they ever approached me, I'd tell them no, no thanks. So What's that? The shavers, they are pretty good. They are pretty good. Five minutes out of the time. That shaver's good. Look at that. He said that, bro. Yeah, right. They were waving a check for five minutes. Some people can't be bought. Some people are. Everybody has to be bought. You're looking at a man who's running a multi hundred dollar company. I can't just be bought for those peanuts. Right? 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 They don't have enough money to make a delivery out of me. Well, unless they just want a guy who says, I'm, I'm sponsored by them and they suck. So here we <laughs> i tell you what, i tell you what. If they ever started coming out with some good products, then maybe that would that would change my mind. But as of right now, they're trying real hard and they're getting nowhere. I'm going to do what every other barber does. They use the walls, they use the fast feeds, and then they hold up the Babyliss as if they use the Babyliss the whole time. <laughs> do they do that for real? Yes, they do that. What? Tell me right now, everybody who's sponsored by Babyliss, are they really using them Babyliss clippers? And I bet nine times out of ten the answer is nope. Maybe they're using the trimmers, all right? And maybe they're using like the FX uh, 870. Grandma, he don't use the Babyliss the whole time. You notice how he uses like five, five clippers to do a taper. Do you think it's necessary to use five clippers to do a taper? I'm just saying. It's not. He's got the sponsorship. He has to show the clipper. And he doesn't have the ability to bash them like I do. But, you know, I'll bash them to my last breath. They go to, like, I don't know where they go. They go to, like, Walmart. And they ask people, like, what do you want in a clipper? And they're like, I just want one that's shiny and it's expensive. And they're like, we got you. We got you, bro. I feel like, I feel like Austin and all these other companies haven't made shit yet. They haven't made shit here. They don't need to. They don't need to. That's how they sit so kicking. It's like, bro, when you when you invent the Ferrari of Clippers, you, your job is done. Like, you should thank Oster. You should thank Oster for not putting out a bunch of trash every year to try to get you to buy it. Because they're like, you know what? What we put out the first time was good, and it's the best, and there's no need for us to continue putting out trash for you to buy. Because Clipper companies are not like cars, dude. You don't have to release a new car every single year, but they do. Your all-time go-to clipper, awesome. no matter what comes out. Oscar awesome fast food. It was like the easiest question I've ever heard. So why do you have a whole bunch of seniors? I like seniors. I like using different clippers, but I'm just telling you right now, if, if I had to go to the desert island with one clipper, I'm bringing the Oscars, and I'll do anything. Get sponsored by the peanut division. Well, I'm all about that. Like, I didn't even know they had a peanut division. Like, and all you see is like guys running around with like cords of peanuts, just picking them up. What are you guys doing with those peanuts? Those cords are way too long. Four feet. That's the match. And he comes through with a pair of scissors. He cuts them. <laughs> Put your money up. Put your money up. Seven minutes. Thing. Seven minutes. From scratch. Everybody. Everybody throw a dollar in there. Oh. I got my money on it. Let's go. I got my money on it. Get the money out. That much. These guys don't believe me that I can do a relaxer in seven minutes. Oh, look at that. That's what you look like. <laughs> oh, don't you? Really? I, I didn't touch it. 
All right, you guys stay away from it this time. All right, so so these guys, they don't believe me that I could do this in seven minutes. They're about to be proved wrong, and they put their money up. These guys put their money up. I'm about to see how Mr. Eddie Barber does. All right. Mr. Eddie Cosmo. Let me just say that. All right, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't touch that, because that'll fall over real easy. That's not bad, but show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. All right, so whenever you're ready, Joe. You, hang on, wait, wait, you just get everything ergonomically positioned. Get that Android out of here. All right. Whenever Excellent. you're ready, uh, I want you to show the camera a few times where, where I'm at during the, during the time. All right. All right, so, so you guys are all sleeping on me. All right. All right, let's get it. Ready? Let's get it. Go Set and go. Done. Have me. That's it. Seven minutes, ten seconds. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? You said I can do it. Seven minutes. That's seven minutes. And 10 you don't round up till you get to thirty. That's why you're in hair school. Cause you ain't, you ain't learn about no math. Yeah, you're right? hustling. So nah. where are you? Nah, he's hustling if, us. If now. this is Vegas, hey, I would have my. I'd be here, walking Joe. around with Over like. Here, Joe. Where's my money? I don't get no money because I was ten seconds late. Seconds. And you guys didn't even give me clips. And I ran out of pride. There was no one there to help. I was a man on my own. Ten barber students. All want to be barbers. And then they're afraid to do a cut. I can't hear nothing. Are you washing his ears? Yeah. He's a dirty boy. He doesn't have water at his house. I'm helping him. His water got shut off last month, too. You guys are all so self sufficient that if I'm to go next door and eat five seconds, not a single person doing a single thing. We're talking about the strokes for shaving, right? As I want you to write what number the stroke is, the direction the stroke is going, and what type of stroke it is. Freehand, what are the strokes? Yeah. How, wait, wait, wait. How many strokes are there for shaving the face? Three. Set 14. There's three. three. Good answer, Matt, because that's a kind of a trick question because a lot of people think there's four. There is four strokes. The backhand and the reverse. But there's backhand. only three. Yeah. Reverse backhand does not take place on the face. It takes place on the left sideburn during a neck shave, and it takes place on the back left side of the neck during a neck shave. These are the only two places that a reverse backhand takes place. And we'll get into that later, but like, let's just cover one thing at a time. True. So we know it's a gliding stroke away True. from the barber. Uh, seventh stroke is what? Backhand. It's the left side burn. Yeah, left side burn. Okay. Why should I be a backhand? Is that your call right there? Yeah. Should I like call that? Yeah. Why are you were over there? Yep, yep. I don't believe it. Really good. Alright, what's our next step? Mm. So if there's anything wrong with this mannequin, no signatures for Kenny. And what about if he doesn't right? get and certain things right? Signatures? No. Alright, so I already see a ton wrong with this. He's got this direction good, he's got the stroke good, but I don't know if he's using a backhand or a freehand. I, I don't even have a, any indication as to what's going on here. A two, what good is it to know where the stroke is, Backhand. but not know what stroke it is? Backhand. So, so Kenny's trying to tell me he did how many cuts? These are for me. Oh, I need to get some signature, bro. Oh, oh, my hand is like, I pulled my wrist, I just can't sign. Can you supervise me forging Fresh. your name? Ow. Oh, no, man, that'd be I didn't illegal. do anything, so I don't need any signatures. Yeah, no, you hit out all day. Yeah. Next, it next to nothing. Nothing. Not next to nothing. No, I just want that. Absolutely so, nothing. Um, if you're not in the contest yet, I hope that you find a way to get in because I'm giving away the Get Beamed. This thing is practically brand new. I've really not used it that much. I even have it all in the package, ready to go. So good luck to whoever winds up winning this. And don't ask me about the contest details because like I said, if you're not watching the channel and you're not subscribed to the channel, you're gonna miss out on stuff like this. So the contest details are in one of my other videos, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. Um, I want you guys to check out 
this little airbrush gun, which so far I really, really like this. And I'm gonna give you guys more information on this very soon. A little recap, I've been working with the Wall 1919 now for an entire week. And I started out with the regular blade, gave it a try, but I knew that was gonna suck. I mean, this isn't my first time working with it, but now I actually own the pair and I'm getting a better feel for it. So then I put the wall STD blade on here, the one that comes on the seniors, the five star, and it was a little better, but it still sucked. And I was like ready to send it back. But then I put the wall wedge blade on here, which anybody who's been watching the channel knows that that's one of my favorite blades to use on the wall. And I'm very happy with the performance now that I have this wall wedge blade on it. In fact, I purchased this with the intention of just returning it once I was done. But now I've started to get a little more attached to it and I'm starting to enjoy using it. So I'm still not sure if it's gonna stay or if it's gonna go, but that wall wedge blade made a huge difference. And of course you guys know I've made a video about it, but you gotta just change the bracket and it's not too difficult to do. It is frustrating. And I've even heard a lot of people tell me that theirs came zero gapped already. Um, good for you, mine didn't. But uh, actually, Every pair that I've unboxed, which makes, I think I've, I've used three, or I've unboxed three of these, none of them have been zero gapped out of the box. None of them could be zero gapped out of the box. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. This is Mr. Eddie Barber, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out, peace. Oh.